everyone this is jane here from crystal sparkles readings i'm just here to do your card for this evening and into tomorrow um i'm just gonna have a little shuffle so this will be for the 5th of december to the 6th of december and i'm just gonna put a little card down sorry this is a little bit late today um i've had a little bit of a mission with christmas lights um so happy to be able to show my Christmas tree today, but no Christmas tree because no lights. Okay, so let me just put down a card and see what we've got going on for us today. Okay, here we go. So let's just move this around a little bit so we can see. Come back a little bit. There we go. Okay, so our card for today is the Page of Swords. Now, Page of Swords is a really, really nice positive card okay it's all about the swords cards are all about communication for me um a lot of people read them as they're all about worries and stuff and they can be about that it's a lot about thought processes it's a lot about thinking um but this is a really positive swords card this is all about new ideas new beginnings messages contact so if you're sitting there waiting for contact for somebody um this is a really good card to have to have pulled out of the deck um i would always say to you don't be in an energy of waiting for someone okay if you're in an energy of waiting for them or you're thinking that you're waiting for them and that's what you're thinking about then the universe just sends you more stuff to wait for okay so you don't want to kind of have that energy if you have um someone that you're wanting to hear from just send that out to the out to the universe you know open your arms to the universe and say i'm ready to hear from this person and then let it go okay don't keep it in your mind keep it in your energy and i know it's really hard not to not to have overthink all of that sort of stuff <clears throat> but it can be done you know it can be strict with your own thought processes and um that then allows you to, ch to change the thoughts around to those of knowing that the contact is coming and you can just get on with enjoying the other things in your life, okay? The more joyful you are with the other things that are going on in your life, the much more likely it is for somebody to contact you. Um, if you're sending out an energy of being grumpy, being stuck in the rut, being waiting, oh my God, this is so boring, I have to wait, why don't they hurry up? Then we don't encourage that energy to come to us, okay? It's a really, it's a really dark, sort of heavy energy. Um, whereas if you've got that energy of like, yeah, I know they're going to, I know they're going to contact me. I'm going to carry on with this. This is all good fun. I'm going to do that. Then much more likely that you will draw that connection into yourself. Okay. I'm just going to put down a law of attraction card to go with this page of swords. Um, so yeah, do look out for contact and messages and, you know, you, you may be drawn to contact somebody, um, or maybe make a new connection, you know, if you've seen somebody that you quite like to look at, look off, then you might be tempted to contact them. Um, this is about new new things usually, new energy, new people. Um, something that comes out of the blue a little bit sometimes with, with the Page of Swords. So let me just put down um, a lot of attraction card for us. I'm going to split this deck um, just because the... Um, they're printed on both sides it's hard to choose one that you can't see okay i don't think we've had this one um so this is um a card that says words do not teach my life experience teaches now, let me just read you what's on the back because we haven't i haven't really worked with this card before um it says words do not teach it's uh, it's life experience that brings you your knowing reflect into your own past life experience and begin watching for the correlation between the words that you're reading here and the life experience that you've lived have you been mostly thinking speaking writing and observing um that which pleases you or not okay right so <laughs> what this is saying really in a roundabout way um is focus on what you want not on what you don't want okay talk about what you want think about what you want write about what you want um don't spend your time moaning about things that you don't want okay um that's probably a message to me um from my guide um because quite often although this is a general reading 
um, for, for everybody. And that card's very much about everybody can benefit from that card. But I've had a day today. And um, yeah, I was in that energy of grumbling about my tree lights. And um, I think sometimes that's okay just for a minute. But I kind of let it bog me down. So I've, that's probably a message for me as well as everybody else. So I'm going to take that on board. I'm not going to think about my blooming tree lights anymore today. And we'll start again tomorrow with the tree and see how we get on. Um, all I would say is these two cards together are really, really lovely cards. They're very strongly saying keep your thoughts positive. Keep your thoughts on what you want to manifest. Speak about what you manifest. Do things that are connected to what you want to manifest. Focus on what you want to manifest. Keep your intentions positive. Um, really, really good cards for it for the day. Um, very direct. I like the Swords cards. A lot of people don't. don't. I really do. Um, they don't mess about. They tell you what you need to know. I'm an Aries, so I like that kind of energy. Others may find them a little bit too direct and a little bit too pushy. Um, but you know, try and take that, <clears throat> take them in the, um, in the way in which they're meant. If your guide's giving you them, your guides don't give you stuff to, to annoy you. They don't give you stuff to upset you. They give you stuff that you need to know. All right. So, you know, our guides are very gentle with us, actually. I think on the whole, they could be a lot harsher than they are in most cases. Um, but on the whole they will not give you stuff that is intended to be hurtful or difficult they're, they're giving you a heads up about stuff so if you've got swords cards in there that are freaking you out just calm yourself down take a real deep breath and look at what they're saying and be honest with yourself about whether you need to know that or not because i would put my money on the fact that you do need to know it um, might not be ready to hear that um kind of just write it down in a notebook and go back to it when you're feeling more able to be ready to hear what's what's being said to you they're really important the swords cards that we take on board what they have to tell us even when they are a bit stinky you know because sometimes things are um but what this card is saying is keep focused on the stuff that isn't quite so stinky um and the stuff that is what you want to manifest you know this card is saying there's there are new thoughts, new ideas, lots of new, new energy around you, um, messages, communication, all that stuff. So that's all important. And how you put across your message and your communication, that's what it's all about. Um, hi there. I'm glad to see you there um, from the um, Ukraine. It's nice to see you. Um, I understand why you're ask, asking about typing, but this is just a very little card for today um, that I just do um, with voice only. You can re-watch it on my YouTube channel, which is Crystal Sparkles. Um, so you could watch it and kind of watch little bits at a time. So you can pick the English up. I do speak really, really quickly as well. And I'm sorry, that's probably why it's difficult. Um I'll try and slow down. <laughs> I'll try and slow down next time um, when I'm when I'm doing a card for today and not rush. It's just the information comes from my guide and it comes really quick, so I kind of just give what I get. As, and it, that's, this this is the speed he gives it to me. So I'll try and slow it all down. Do have a look at the replay if you're finding the the language difficult. Um, that's what I would would advise and go have a look on my YouTube channel where you can kind of just stop it and start it and go back and forwards um, on Crystal Sparkles on there. Thank you very much for tuning in today. It's been lovely to do your card for the day. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow. Hopefully I might be a little bit earlier tomorrow because I'm having to shunt things around a little bit. Um, and um, so um, I will be back with you again tomorrow. Thank you very much for listening and I'll see you then. Bye for now.